Tech, how'd you feel the workout went today for you? It went great. Uh, being here with my teammates again, it did a lot to me. It uh, made me feel that joy again. Being around the team two months without being on the team, it felt kind of weird. Uh, but I feel like me personally, I had a great workout. The guys around me had a great workout. Did you do anything in particular to kind of improve your 40 time from the combine a few weeks ago? Uh, nope, not at all. Just went and kept practicing the same thing I did. And I uh, worked harder and came back and ran harder. How'd that how that time at the combine help you to, to maybe better your, yourself today and, and hopefully impress more coaches and scouts? The time at the combine just did something to me. Like I knew I run faster than that, and I knew I move faster than that, and I know I play faster than that. I couldn't sleep at night thinking about that time and uh, tossing and turning and getting up early just to call my trainer and be like, hey, we need to do it again. We need to do it again. He's like, man, you you fine, man. You fine. You, you know you play faster than you. I'm like, no, we need to do it again. Council visits because I had to go train again, and again, and just working for um, what I need to do. My goals, I said, go goals high for myself to achieve. And that's what I did. Sorry. What did you want to accomplish today? Do you think like you feel like you did it? Uh, I just wanted to show the world that I can catch the ball, I can run routes, that I can run fast, and that was my agenda. They kept asking me why I'm not doing shuttle, why I'm not doing jumping over again because I feel like me personally. That's not football. I feel like if I came out here and do what I have to do on the football field and show that I can catch the ball, I can run routes, I can move, I can get out my cuts and stuff like that, that's football to me. So that was my main focus today to end those questions of can he catch, can he run routes, is he fast, all those things like that. What have you heard from teams about your pass catching ability because that's such a big thing in the NFL? Uh, certain teams just say they see, that I, they see the ability of me catching. They say that uh, they see on film that we didn't throw the ball as much, but they want to see me catch more. So that's what made me do the receiver drills today, made me do more routes today, get opportunity to do all those things, and it's a blessing. So excited to be here, excited to do what I did today, just just get that work in. What was it like working with Cam? It was smooth. Uh, I actually didn't get to throw with Cam, but his energy here it was good, just having the Auburn legend in the building, you know, seeing him out there just competing. At the age he is and what he already accomplished, that should that should make me make it, it made me want more. You know, just seeing him out there doing that at what he already accomplished in his life. What's the difference from holding today from last year when he was a freshman coming in? He's a mature guy. He he uh, he looked at me today before um, the we started throwing. He said, "Hey, I ain't never uh, freshman no more." I said, "Hey, you don't look like it." <laughs> he just start start looking at me. He said, "It's gonna be a good day," and I said, "I knew it." Now. He, he's one of the most accurate quarterbacks I've ever met. Uh, he's a good guy, and I, I, I'm, I'm sure that's why they had him throwing today. When, when y'all were over there stretching, what was it like for Holden, for Cam to just come up to him and be like, hey, what's up, man? <laughs> it was cool, you know. It's just, that's, that's, that, that's what goes on at Arbor. You only get that at Arbor, that feeling, that love, and that joy. Like, where are you going to be on that draft day, and are you going to be watching? Uh, be with my family. Uh, I'm a big family guy. Sitting right next to my mom. and. Uh, Whoever we'll call my name, I'm gonna get a guy that bring in 150 every day. Tim, talking about the men in the room here that have had an NFL experience, talking about Cadillac and then obviously Cam today, <laughs> what have these guys been telling you uh, just with this experience and getting you prepared? Be me. Coach Cadillac said all the time, man, just be you. Don't try to be nobody you're not. Don't try to be somebody that, that's not doing something. Just be you. Go out and have fun. You've been doing this all your life. And, I live by that because he's a legend. I listen to everything he told me since I got here. Um, he's a great guy. I love the dude like he's my own. What does that support mean to you to have them here um, in the building today? It means a lot. You know, he always got my back. He texts me throughout the process of training. Hey, level head, be focused. Don't don't listen to everything. Know who you are, stuff like that. You know, he always been in my corner here. Good guy. Talk about the uh, energy before Cam started throwing and after, obviously, music started going. Um, talk about what that may have done for you guys to get a little bit more energy behind everything. Uh, you know, I feel like we had our energy, but, you know, Cam bringing his juice like he always do, you know, could be better. It was just it was fun, you know, just seeing Cam say play the music, they get crunk and stuff like that. But, you know, it was a day to come out and grind and get better. You know, at the end of the day, he brought energy. Everybody brought energy. It was good. And it was just that Auburn energy that I felt that I felt my freshman year and the reason I came. How do you feel like everything went today? Um, I feel like things was going really well. Um, I feel like uh, my 40, I, I showed everyone that I can move faster than what I've shown previously. Um, with my shuttle drill, I feel like I showed good being and explosiveness through my cuts. 
Um, with the with the drills, with the with the uh, D line drills, I felt like I felt like I was I was doing good with lateral movement and just showing that I could move, showing uh, things that's different on film. Mm -hmm. what, what is an NFL team going to get in Marquise Burks? With me, they're going to get someone who's going to do their job, someone who's not a selfish player, not all about themselves. They're going to get someone who's going to open up the gaps for the linebackers and make plays when when needed. For you, go back to your. Your JUCO days, so you were obviously a good bit of a pass rusher. Yeah. There, like, how much do you think that helps you now? Telling the NFL teams, like, hey, I've kind of, kind of done it all. Um, it helps a lot. It helps a lot because it lets them know that I'm versatile. It lets them know that I can do what's needed of me. You know, I don't have an attitude about not making a bunch of plays and having the guys around me shine. Yeah. What do you say? You know, your, your three years at Auburn. What do you, what do you take away from that? The three years I take away at Aubrey is everybody can't be Superman, you know. Um, it's great to see the ones around me do their thing, and it's great to have my moments to shine. But everybody, everybody can't be Superman, so that's why you just got to do your job, man. I'm, be, I'm big on doing your job, doing your 111th. Yeah. Speaking of Superman, what was it like to see see Cam in here? Today? Oh man, Cam was my hero growing up, dog. <laughs> like what? Cam was my hero. I said, what's up, Cam? Cam said, what up? I'm like, yo, like, what? <laughs> like, what? I ain't never, like, I ain't never been this close to Cam. Like, that's my dog. Oh, yeah, I don't want to say he's my dog, but, you know, yeah, I'm a big Cam fan, big Superman fan. And how do you think you did? Yeah, I mean, just a blessing to be here and uh, go to college at Auburn and finally do pro day. So, uh, fun being out here. Great, great. A lot of people, uh, kind of like a game. So, it's, it's, you know, got the butterflies exciting. But, you know, start with the kickoff, hit, hit those well. That's we got solid balls and then moved a field goal and had a lot of reps more than I thought, but that, that's a good thing and uh, you know had a, had a good day. What are you telling the NFL teams when they when you talk to them about what you would bring to their organization? Yeah, I think you know I think God-given talent is uh, the first thing. I think as a, as an athlete, you have to be confident in your talents and, and what you bring to the table, but also just discipline and a, a guy who just wants to see his, his teammates and his coaches do well as well. How much did your brother kind of help you prepare for a day like that? Yeah, I mean from. From the big stuff to the small stuff, you know, telling me uh, just like small little tips. Uh, it's been helpful, especially the combine, I say as well. Uh, but you know, he's a huge role model for me, and uh, I'm thankful for him. That's easy. <laughs> Are you all good? Yeah. Um, how'd it go today? What were teams asking and so forth? And uh, to you know, what what might be key for you making it at the next level? Yeah, uh, so again, it, it went well. Kickoffs and field goals both went well, uh, hitting the ball uh, the way I wanted to. And um, yeah, just thankful to be uh, around these teams. I don't know specifically all the teams that were here. Um, it's hard to tell when you're, you're focused on the workout. So, uh, but no, I had a great day. And, and, you know, next level, I got some workouts to do as well and uh, just staying focused on those. And uh, we'll see where, where happens. What, what are some of the private workouts you got coming up? I'd have to check. Uh, no, yeah, yeah, uh, they're coming up, so I got a couple. So. How do you feel like everything went? Uh, I believe I had a productive day. You know, I gave it my best effort, all I could do, and now we could just wait and see the results, how it pays off. When they were doing measurements, I, I think they said you're down to 302, and, and that's a bit down from your playing weight. Just how much have you been working towards kind of getting that weight down, and what's that process? Like? I know the biggest thing was getting my body right coming into this, so I'd be able to play at the highest level possible. And so I took that like in full consideration and I went and did what I had to do to get where I needed to be. Brandon, were you happy with your test today? Oh yes, I was pleased. I came out here, like I said, I gave my best effort, did as best I could and that's all I could do. I was impressed with your vertical jump. Tell me how you were able to do that. I mean, me personally, I was mad because I've usually been getting like 31, 32 and I didn't jump as high as usual, but I mean 29 is still good for old lineman, 29 and a half. So I gave it my best. How much does your versatility, do you think, help you out when you're talking to NFL teams and be like, man, because you, you've, st you started getting at every position, I think, in college. Right? I think they see that as a very helpful thing. You know, it helps take out roster spots. And I, me being able to play all five positions is just the best thing that could happen to me. Talk about what you did to train uh, to get ready for today. Uh, I just ate right every day. Had goals set, and I met every single goal I wanted to set out to get. And I say just dedication. That's just what it takes.
Have you had a chance to talk to any NFL teams or scouts? Uh, there's been a couple teams. Um, it'll probably pick up more after the performance I had today. So I'm just waiting to hear back and see where things go from here. What was your favorite part of the day? Bench press. I mean, I, was, I try to get 30. Well, I was one rep short, got 29, and I was just trying to push it to 30. But that was probably the highlight of my day, that and getting to do O-line drills with o, uh, NFL coaches. What's your all-time best for reps on the bench? Uh, my best was 32. So that came pretty close. Yeah. So this, while we're here, just, when you look back and you're in this building, I know you don't have memories in here because you haven't practiced very much, but just your overall memory. Experience. Overall, uh, my overall experience at Auburn is just sh nothing short of amazing. It's just the family, the atmosphere, how they welcome you back here with open arms. You just, you love it. There's no other place I'd rather be. Did you grow up a Cam Newton fan? Of course. I'm from Carolina, played for the Panthers. I mean, what was it like to, to see him and him be in the building? Uh, it was pretty cool. It was pretty good to have him come back, and I think everybody enjoyed having him back and throwing to his brother, and that, that was just amazing, man. It's, Great to see family connection like that. You still got it? You said what? You still got it? Yeah, he should still be in the league to me. He's got it. <laughs> How'd you feel about your performance? Really good day. Uh, you know, anytime I get to have an opportunity to come back here and uh, step on this field with this new complex, and, you know, I've been out to practice a few times, so it was very special to me to have an opportunity to work out on this field and also try to fulfill my dreams by doing that. So, uh, you know, I came out and had a really good day, put my best foot forward, and now the, the rest is up to, to the teams and GMs. Your mindset going into the draft in terms of, uh, of what you're hearing and, and, and what you're telling them? Really just enjoying the process. I mean, you know, going to the Senior Bowl, meeting with teams there, going to the Combine, meeting with teams there, having meetings here yesterday. And, you know, really just trying to work through this whole process and put my best foot forward is really all I can do. So, you know, don't get too flustered. Don't get too anxious. Just wait and enjoy the process and see where I end up. What are you telling teams what they can get if they draft their call? I oh, mean, just all around guy. Uh, you know, a guy who comes out, put his best foot forward every day. You know, a guy that's not going to put the club or the organization position, you know, to feel like uh, that, that, that I've done anything to jeopardize that. So, uh, you know, I feel like I'm, I'm, I'm a vocal leader. And, you know, at some point you have to follow before you can lead at that level. So I'm really just trying to get myself around guys and, you know, put my best foot forward to help the team be successful my year one. For you, the, the, you've gone to the combine, obviously. How did that help you in today and, and, and I guess, having that uh, feeling of the drills and things like that? Yeah, so uh, everything today is completely different. Uh, completely different drills for D-line and linebacker. So I did both workouts again, uh, which I did the combine. So it was good for me to be able to get out here and once again just showcase and, and, and do the versatility part for me. And, uh, you know, do things that I haven't done at the combine. But it's definitely a little bit easier for me to walk in here. You know, guys who just have opportunity to do pro day and I've been at the combine and been through it once. So it's, it's, it's definitely a lot more relaxing and, and a, a cool environment for me. Derek, how surreal has this moment been to know that you're one step closer to making that NFL dream come true? It still hasn't hit me. Uh, you know, I've been asked this question a lot by teams, by media, it still hasn't hit me yet. So, uh, you know, a lot of guys like, man, the draft process has hit me. I'm just doing what I do every day, and that's, that's working to help myself get better. So I feel like it'll come eventually, and when it comes, it's, it's going to be tough, obviously. Probably shed a few tears and, you know, just really take it all in because th this is a dream come true. You know, not many guys get this opportunity to be able to go out and play on the national football level like I can. Who will you be on draft day, Derek, when you watch uh, I'll, So I'll be at home. Uh, I have a venue with my family, a whole lot of friends, people who's been there along the way. Uh, you know, supporting me, so I'll, I'll be down to go for it. And if any of y'all want to come, just let me know. I'll, I'll get to address. <laughs> You're full. There'll be some good seafood. Oh yeah, for sure, for sure, good seafood. You grow up um, watching the draft, and is something you sort of, as a, as a young person, sort of dreamed of. For sure. Uh, you know, every kid wants to see their name called and, and, and have their name come across that screen, and it, especially on, on Thursday, the first night. So, you know, hopefully that, that's a dream come true for me. You know, wherever I'll get picked, I'll, I'll be excited to go to work and put my best foot forward, help team be successful. But Thursday night, want to be very, very special. Derek, putting together your draft, your pro day today, and huh. also the combine, you feel happy with what you showed the scouts? I'm very content. I'm very content. Uh, you know, my heart is full of joy. You know, this is really the, the, the hard part's over. Be able to go out and put my best foot forward and, you know, really try to showcase my talent and my versatility and what I could do. So my heart is full of joy. I'm content. I, I felt like I put, you know, my, my best showcase on the field, not only at the senior bowl, but at the combine and also here. So, you know, I'm very pleased with my performance in all three, in all three phases of, you know, those events. You talked about doing two workouts. You feel like you've shown teams that, hey, you can fit in any defense, any team, any scheme you, you, you want to throw, they want to throw you into. For sure. Uh, you know, really just trying to differentiate whether I want to stand up, put my hand down, you know, whether they see me as a mic backer, whether they see me as a Sam backer, whether they see me as an end. You know, a, a lot of teams have different schemes, but I kind of feel like I show the versatility, and that's something that I've told teams throughout this whole process. Your, your four years of, of 
SEC video, how mm -hmm. much does that count versus the, the combine and everything in the today? I think it counts a lot. Uh, when you have a lot of film on tape, guys know what you can do. You know, you can come out here and you can be the best workout person ever, but you also have to be able to produce on that field. So, uh, you know, I kind of feel like being able to put my best foot forward for four years and have an opportunity to be successful, you know, in the SEC West, let alone, you know, the, the, the best conference in football. So, I mean, I, I feel like I've done everything that I can do, and it's definitely going to be beneficial for me. Derek, what was it like to have Cam in the building, and did he offer any advice for you guys going through this process? Cam was very chill. Uh, you know, I, so I've known Cam for a little bit. Uh, he was there when I was getting recruited uh, around a lot of events, so I've had an opportunity to speak with him all the time. But he just came in today, chill, laid back, really didn't say much. You know, I felt like he wanted to come out and, you know, just really be here with us, you know, showcase what he can do as well, because I feel like that guy still can play a little bit more football. So it, it was very, very cool to see him uh, hanging around the Thorn to some of the guys today. Who will miss, who will miss more, you or Roy Parker? Who, 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 who miss more? Who will miss each other more, you or Roy Parker? Oh, I, I definitely miss Mr. Roy. Uh, you know, Mr. Roy's my guy. He, he's one of the people who's brought me under his wing, uh, you know, from day one here. And, uh, you know, you want to know something about Auburn? Call Roy Parker. He, he's the man. He's the man to go to. So I think I'm about to go chop it up and have a good dinner with me and my family and he, he and his wife. So I'm looking forward to it. Um, this, did you get to see Cam throw? I know you were busy doing your own thing, obviously. Right. But did you get to see him throw? If so, like, what was it? What, what, what did it look like from your perspective? I mean, I, I, I saw him throw a little bit. Uh, before I started warming up, and I mean, don't give me the line. I don't, I don't know the mechanics and all that all stuff, right. but he, he, he threw some really good balls, so that's good. Derek, what has Auburn meant to you? Auburn has meant everything to me. Uh, you know, I really can't put my experience here into words. Uh, you know, every time I get that question, it's, it's hard for me uh, because it's, I'll forever be indebted to this place. It's, it's very, very special uh, place to me and my family. You know, my mom dropped me off here as a 17 year old boy, and, you know, I just turned 22, leaving out on pro day, so, uh, you know, I feel like this place has been. Great for me and my family, and uh, you know we're definitely looking forward to coming back every opportunity we get. If you, if someone asked you about Kobe Wooden, what would you say? Or Kobe and Iku actually, what, what would you say? Monsters, my dogs. So, you know we we have each other back through through thick and thin. Uh, you know I trained with, I had opportunity to train with Koo, so uh, I was going to a different location. He begged me to come down to Exos, Florida. And, you know I really really enjoyed it. Had an opportunity to train with him. You know meet other guys and go through that process together was was special for us, obviously because you know, the, the, the step back that he took uh, in the season when he got injured with his pec. So it was cool to be on the same field with him again and, you know, have an opportunity. But Kobe, man, he, his, his work speaks for him. Uh, you know, we came in together. We've seen each other grow. We've seen each other get better on a day-to-day -day basis and every single year. So, you know, it's very, very special. And I feel like those guys are going are, are gonna to be a long, long, long time playing in the NFL. More such think everything went today. Um, it all went pretty good. I really can't complain. What would you say is your, when, you, when you think about making the decision to come to Auburn from, from Memphis that one year? What, what's going to be your biggest takeaway from that year? Um, my biggest take is like really just uh, taking on the culture here at Auburn, um, really seeing the fans, you know, like these was the greatest fans in the world. Um, they had our back through thick and thin, even whenever we was having a losing season, um, they still showed out. So, I mean, that was a big deal. What'd you kind of learn from the other guys who were here today, Derek and Derek and Colby being being in the room with them, being around them last year. What, what did you learn from them? Um, I learned a lot from them. We all uh, learned from each other. We pushed each other in the room. So uh, that was pretty cool. Like, we wasn't scared to be critical of each other, you know, and learn from each other. So that was one of the best points, so I'll say, here. What has your training kind of looked like the past few months? Um, I've been back training in Houston um, at Orm Sports. Um, I feel like it's been going pretty well. Um, I tested good uh, in our mock pro days. So uh, I was pretty confident coming in that I'll do a good job. So, what's the what's the process been like for you talking to scouts and which, what's kind of your pitch to, to teams? Um, a lot of people just wanted to come out here and see my numbers and see what I see what I was able to do. So hopefully I answered a lot of questions that they have for me. Who are some guys in that room that are still here that you think might have a chance to, to take it up a notch this season? Um, a lot of them. Uh, everybody's kind of, you know, still got a lot of room for improvement. So everybody that's coming back, uh, I still talk to them all the time. And uh, they're all really happy with the way that the staff is uh, developing them right now. And they're learning a lot. Um, I came to practice yesterday, and uh, I was shocked, uh, really surprised at how great uh, a lot of them was playing with technique now. So um, I think they're doing a great job right now. You get a little jealous when around this facility? Oh uh, man, uh, we actually came and toured it uh, right before we was leaving, like at the end of the season. So we kind of knew what it was going to be like already. But uh, it's a different feel whenever you have everybody through here. So it's alive right now. So I'll say it's really nice, yeah. So first question I want to ask you is, uh, we were in there with the vert. I know that you, I don't know what exactly you hit, but you got some audible like impressions from right. some people. And then two with your 40, just what were your feelings today about those those moments? Um, 
It was a great feeling to just come out here and just um, finally have all that hard work be put on display. I've been working really hard. My trainer down in Tampa, Florida, at, um, Athlete Innovations. So, um, yeah, it's a lot of hard work, and it was, it was a great feeling today. And when you hear that, like, positive impression right away, I mean, just what was going through your mind? Um, at some point, you don't even hear it. Like, I'm so locked in. I just try to stay focused. I got a lot of um, <clears throat> drills to do, a lot of, a lot of work to be done. So I was trying to stay focused and just stay in the moment. Do you feel like you put your best out there today? Is there anything left to show? Um, I think that was decent today. So I got more. I got more to show. I'm not done yet. So um, I'm not on the team, and I'm not satisfied with that. Shit, we got you unofficially at four three two. Does that surprise you? Is that something you thought you could do? Uh, no, I'm not surprised. Yeah. yeah. How, how's it feel to do that in front of the scouts? Um, it was a good feeling. Uh, I feel like I could have did a little bit better, like I said, but it's decent. And what was it like catching passes from Cam? <laughs> it was like that was actually fun. That was probably my my uh, most favorite part. Uh, just learning his lingo, seeing his cadence. Um, he got good touch on the ball, um, and so, yeah. When did you learn that that was going to be something y'all were doing today? I've been hearing that for a little bit. Uh, I did not know if it was true or not. Obviously, I talked to Kaylin, and that's when I found out when I got to Auburn. So, um, yeah. And Shab, we could see the zip on the ball, but does he still mm. have it? Do you think that he still has a shot? I, st I think he still got it, yeah. Did you, were you an Auburn fan when you were you know, 13 years ago when he was? The Heisman winner, do you remember him playing? Yeah, I, I was paying attention. I saw him. I saw the, uh, the work they put in. And of course, what it did that season, it was crazy. So uh, it was cool to throw with him and just, just remembering those times, you know, Iron Bowl comeback and, and all that too. So just catching balls from him now is it was incredible. You get a little jealous walking in his new facility? Very. I tell him that every time. Uh, <laughs> I'm mad they got a new facility. I came to college one year too early. So yeah, it's nice. It's, it's, it's crazy. Shed in your conversations with with teams, what do you what do you tell them that you'll be able to bring? Um, I feel like I always tell them the same thing. Just being honest, I'm a competitor. Uh, I want to be the best, and I work at it every day. Um, I try to stay locked in and just do what I know I can do, and just always reach for new goals. And Shed, we can only imagine, but it's probably really surreal to get mm -hmm. here and to be in front of NFL scouts. What is that right. like going through your mind when you know that you're you know this close to that right. dream? Yeah, it came around quick. Um, I remember getting down to Tampa and my trainer telling me that it was going to fly by all the training and them eight weeks or nine weeks, however long it was, it, it flew by. Uh, coming back to Auburn was great. I missed it and just having fun and they putting, putting the work on display. And what was that vertical in the second one? Um, I want to say it was 38.5. Kayla, what was it like out there for you to, to showcase your, your abilities and also uh, you know, play catch with your brother? And it was a blessing. I mean, we went back to backyard football. You know, it was pretty cool to share that moment with my brother. Um, it's been one heck of a journey, six years, three different universities, three different prestigious universities that I'm proud, to, proud of to attend and represent. So this was an amazing opportunity for me and a great way to cap off my collegiate journey. What was it like just being back here after a year away? It was awesome to come see this new facility. I'm pretty jealous, just like Shank, just like Shed, Tank. All these guys, I mean, we walked back in here lost, looking around at the million dollar facility, but it's pretty cool, you know. It's pretty cool to look back and see what you left the younger generation, so. What do you tell organizations about what you would bring and, and what do you think your brother still has in the tank? Well, f for one, you know, for me, I mean, I'm, I'm a what you see, what you get type of guy. I feel like my track record shows, my resume shows that wherever I go, I leave a good impact. I make guys around me better and I'm able to follow and, and become better as a player. Um, I'm a special teamer. I'm a high, high motor guy that can bring a lot of energy, effort into a program. Do do things right. Um, smart, intellectual kids. So, you know, I'm excited to see what an organization will give me an opportunity, so I can give them everything I have. As for Cam, man, Cam is still. He still has it. You know, it was fun to work out with him, to train with him throughout this journey, and he has rubbed off on me in so many ways with his work ethic and his attention to details. I mean. Whatever, what everyone sees, you know, on the TV screen, and they see his, you know, character, they see his, his confidence, you know, they don't see the the grit, you know, they don't see how many hours he puts in. So, you know, the media has what they say about who he is. I know who he is, and anywhere he's been, they know who he is too. So. Jalen, since we won't have a chance to speak with Cam, just why do you think it's so important for him to still try to push him and have another opportunity in the league? Well, honestly, this was, you know, him showing love to me. You know, he doesn't 
owe anybody anything. He has had a, an amazing journey, an amazing career in the NFL. Um, he has nothing to prove to anybody. You know, this was just to show love to his little brother and to share this moment with me. How did that idea kind of come about? You know, I asked him. I was like, man, let's do something that hasn't been done before. You know, let's, let's do things the right way. Let's cap off, you know, our Auburn's journey. Um, he's graduated from here. I've graduated from here. And, you know, it's, it's nothing like being back and sharing this moment with him. So let me understand, all the Carolina people are hitting me up now. Does he really want to get back in the league or he came to help you? Or um, both? He came to show his ability, to show he still has it. Mm -hmm. But I think for him, this was a selfless act. Mm -hmm. But to just show and prove everybody that, you know, he's just not sitting around, he still got it. Mm -hmm. So whatever, whatever uh, organization that wants to get a winning quarterback, you know, his number's still open and available. Going back to... Uh, you asking him to come here, what was your emotion like when he said, yes, I'll do it with you? Um, I knew I knew he would say yes, you know, just because of what he's going through, what I'm going through. Both of our journeys just kind of met right here at Pro Day. And it, it was an unbelievable moment to just say, hey, bro, you mind throwing to me? And he just, his reaction was mouth open, shocked, like, wow, of course, you know. So that was an unbelievable moment for us both. How long, how long did you know that he was going to be here today? We've known for a while. <laughs> yeah. Now obviously, you guys didn't get to play college together, but what, what, what would it be like to be a part of an NFL organization together? Life changing. For me to be on an NFL organization would be life changing, but to share that with him, and we're, we're two guys who make each other better. Um, hopefully, we've showed that we have chemistry, that um, you know, it would be a cool story, but also to get to, to win. My priority right now is to become an NFL professional football player and to win the Super Bowl. I mean, whatever that looks like, if that's running down on kickoff, if that's catching punts, blocking punts, that's my goal. John, you got after it on the bench press. <laughs> your day-to-day, your -day, how was it for you? Uh, overall, it was solid. I, I think I could have done better in some areas, um, but overall, I was pleased with, with my day. Um, yeah, I started strong on the bench. That was a lot of fun, a lot of adrenaline to start the day, but overall, I thought I did pretty solid today. What, when you have your conversations with the NFL teams, what are you telling them that you bring? Uh, just reliability, durability, just somebody you can count on day in and day out. Also a leader in the locker room, on the field, just and the, the joy that I have for the game. Um, I think every day it's a lot of fun um, to play this game and especially an honor to play this game here and at the next level. What's it like working with Cam, man? <laughs> Those are hard. Uh, that was awesome. Just, you know, the legacy he left and, and his time here and uh, it's really a special moment, you know, to do that with him. And, um, you know, he's also trying to get a spot too. So um, really cool and uh, sweet opportunity. You still got it? Yeah, he still got it. He had a few overthrows, but they were zipped. So it was it was fun to be a part of that. When did you learn that, that Cam was going to be here and join you guys? Uh, Kalen texted me and Shedrick a little while back and, and told us his brother was probably throwing. And so it's been, it's been coming for a while. And, you know, you never really know. It takes, you know, for that thing to happen. But... Um, really cool to have him out here. You also caught some passes from the uh, holding there. Yep, that was, uh, I was able to choose um, who I got to, to throw today and really honored and um, happy with, with holding. And I think he's a great quarterback and it was a lot of fun to throw with him today. And then just walk me through what the last, say two months have been like for you, getting out of school and kind of being on your own, but also developing, hoping to get in the draft. Yeah, it's unique, um, but it's a really awesome opportunity that not a lot of people get. So I didn't take that for granted, and it's, you know, it's a lot of working out. That's that's all you do for a long time. So um, to have this day where it comes all, all comes out is really cool. Get a little jealous in the facility a little bit. Yeah, it's uh, much nicer than what we had, but uh, no, it's awesome. I'm glad these guys will get to have it, and it'll definitely make Auburn better for sure. And then, uh, have you got to spend time with you? I have not. Um, I've been to practices, but that's the. The, the length of that. And then what's next for you, um, next few days? I'll relax. I'm playing golf tomorrow with my brother, so I'll enjoy that, get some time off, and then I'll probably start back Thursday working out. Today was fluent and smooth, you know. It was good. I'm not going to lie, it was good. I felt good. It was good to be back at home. You know, we were the first group in this uh, pro day on this million dollar facility, so it was good. I wish we would have took a picture with Cam. I do wish that. <laughs> but uh, nah, but it was smooth. I enjoyed it. I loved being out here in Auburn, seeing my old teammates. So it was great. What's so? What's it like to have Cam in the building? I mean, it's electric for me. It's the 
third time I've seen him, so you know it's cool. You know that's he's basically the reason why you know a good bit of this generation comes to Auburn because of him. So it's cool to see you know somebody of his statue come back and just be Cam. I like his cleats though. His cleats was tough. <laughs> <laughs> Have you had much interaction with NFL teams and scouts so far? Yeah, so I had four meetings yesterday. Um, I got three more tomorrow and another on Thursday. Um, but yeah, I've been loving every minute of it. Um, you know, you only get this process once, so I've just been enjoying it and you know, having fun. What do you tell those guys they'll get if they draft you? You're gonna get a hard worker, somebody that's extremely competitive, um, somebody that's gonna show up every day and just learn, be a sponge, soak it, soak it all up. I know I got leaps and bounds to go, um, and I'm not where I want to be, but that's why you go, you know, and do extra and learn from the guys that's been there, done that. So I'm just excited to, you know, go learn. You need to mention your great interview ability too. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. How did, what did you want to get accomplished today, and did that happen for you? Um, I just wanted to show fluid and smooth and then also be, be like violent with my hands. Like if, you know, you don't want to just slap the bag and eh, now nah, you want to lay the bag down. So I just want to show violence um, and then be fluid and smooth. Well, what, are teams, uh, what are teams telling you in terms of your position? You know, where, where, where do they like you at your side? I'm getting it all. I've heard inside. I've heard outside. Um, I don't know. I, I, I'm blessed to have versatility, so I'm not sure as to where I'll be, but um, I have been hearing both inside and out. So, What have you been hearing as far as your draft status? Um, um, uh, day two. Day two. Um, you know, excited. As long as I hear my name called, I don't care. <laughs> uh, you know, I know I bust my tail to get here, and I'm just excited. So, yeah. Where are you going to be drafted? I'll be back at home on her crib, <laughs> on her couch. But uh, yeah, I'm just be back at home, my mom, my brother, my dad, watching it, taking it all in. You know? How special is that going to be? That's going to be crazy. Like, it's going to be a dream come true, you know, all the times. Sorry. But all the times I tell my mama, Mom, I want to be in the NFL. And she'll shoot it down. <laughs> That's not a career. Nah, but, <laughs> nah, but, <laughs> nah, but uh, it's going to be exciting. Like, I'm just going to be overwhelmed. I know she's going to be crying, which might make me shed a tear or two. So, but I'm excited, man. Yeah. And what's Auburn meant to you? Auburn's meant family. Like, I love every time I come back, you know, everybody. It's like I've never left. What you doing? You know, treat me like their own. And I love it, you know. I, I was taking it in as I came back on Friday. Like, I'm, I'm just blessed to, to say I chose the right school. I guess just kind of talk about how the day went. Yeah, I think it went well. Um, it just took a long time for us to actually get into football stuff. Uh, we started one. I don't think we'd start O-N drills until four. So that took a long time. But I think, you know, the last 20 minutes were one of the best ones. What were you kind of trying to prove today or show scouts? I was just trying to show that I'm athletic enough to play at the next level, and especially, you know, doing the O-line drills, which is actual football. Um, just trying to look as, as fluent as I can. The, uh, talk about your training leading up to today. What were yeah. you doing? So I was in Dallas or Frisco um, for two months training with Duke at a sports academy. Um, he prepared us for pretty much everything that we did today, um, all the drills and even some of the O-line drills he was able to you know, get us a little bit prepared for. Were you happy with how you performed today? Yeah, I was happy. Have you talked to any NFL scouts yet or yeah. NFL general managers, those types of folks? Yes, yeah, so I was at the East-West game. Uh, I had about, I'd say, 20 teams probably interview me there. Um, yesterday, I met with the New York Jets. Um, been in conversation with a bunch of other teams even after the game. So I've talked to, I'd say, most teams. Um, some teams are more in-depth than others. Anything in particular they talk to you about? Um, a lot is, uh, you know, my story. I don't think there's a lot of guys in this draft that had a similar experience that I did, coming from a different country. Really didn't play football until I was 16 years old. Um, just trying to get to know me, trying to get to know my history, my family, um, stuff like that. What's, what's that? I mean, having that background, having that story, what's that? Now that you're kind of on the cusp of the NFL draft and led, is something that's has it hit you yet? Is it going to sunk in? A little bit. A little bit. But what's that going to be like, you know, whether, whether it be draft or even, even sign a team later on, whatever mm -hmm. else, just getting that opportunity, what's that, be, what's that like for you? I mean, it would mean the world. Um, ever since I got over here, you know, 
my goal was to get to a D1 school when I was in junior college. I was able to get to an SEC school. Then my goal was to start after you know coming in um, during COVID and all that what happened. But I was able to start here and now you know trying to make the jump to the next level. And, and I guess how will you kind of remember or Auburn? What's Auburn done for you to help get you to that? Yeah, um, Auburn's family to me. Um, Auburn has given me everything, and I'm trying to represent Auburn the best I can. As far as uh, where are you going to watch the draft? You got anything planned? You going home to yeah. Germany? No, I'm I'm going to stay here. My mom's actually flying in later in April, so she'll be here. Um, probably just watch it at home with my mom and my girlfriend. You think a bunch of your buddies from back in Germany? Yeah. <laughs> are going to be cheering for you? I think they'll watch it. I think Germany's actually streaming this year's draft, so they might be able to watch it. And I think they're all going to watch from home.